My name is Philip Omar. I'm from Austin, Texas. I wanted to go a little deeper than vlogging. This conversation doesn't make sense. I really wanted to share my life. If you're gonna talk shit online, at least like own up to it. The meat, because don't it's just toss and anything. The side even my friends haven't seen. Have you taken the video swim test? No. Are you into that? I was just like in such disbelief. My flight was canceled. I may have to stay in New York until who knows when. This is my fabulous life. So I'm calling Lucy to let her know that I'm ready to start this show. I wanted to tell you that I think I'm ready to start and to do like a reality type style for my channel. Yeah. It's something that we've talked about for a very long time. I'm not wanting to be in that imaginary stage anymore. I'm actually wanting to put the wheels on and get going. You know how I always just dwelled on it because I'm like, well, I need the right equipment and all that. I think I'm just ready to just start. There's never going to be a perfect moment. When we wait for things to be perfect, then we'll never start. When do you want to start? Now until the show's over. <laughs> yeah, I gotcha. Thanks. Um, do you work tomorrow? No. Nope. Do you want to meet in the morning for breakfast so we can talk about it more? Yeah, for sure. I'm very thankful that I have the resources necessary to be helped with this, and now I have nothing holding me back. I just feel like I'm never going to be ready because everything starts by just like throwing yourself out there. So I was yeah. thinking about that. So what time did you want to meet um, tomorrow? Maybe like 10 a.m. Okay. Maybe. I'll go pick you up and can go out to eat. Yeah. Bye. So I'm setting up the equipment downstairs because I just want to be able to have everything ready to go. It's kind of a stressful process. I'm feeling hot, my armpits are sweating. Because I I want to document more, so... Oh. Dad starts talking to me because he doesn't even know what's going on when we've already had the discussion numerous times. Then Dre, my dog, wants to see what's going on. Dre, yeah, I just heard of... Dre, go! Go! Dad starts talking about the equipment. He's asking what's going on. Is that Hannah's old camera? Yeah. Well, don't ever sell it if you... No, I'm not going to. I'm having to remind Dad that the camera's on, and I'm getting a little annoyed. The cameras aren't here right now. I don't, know, I don't know what camera you're talking about, but I don't see a camera. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where everything goes. Once I finally have it all together, my stress levels are down. I'm able to just take a step back and apologize to Dre for being a little mean. I know that it's going to be a long journey, but ultimately I know that it's going to be okay. I shouldn't be worried about anything because then that just takes the fun out of everything. So Lucy ended things with her boyfriend and needed someone to talk to. I told him I wanted a break because there's too much stress going on right now in my life. Lucy is in a tough place right now and she doesn't need to worry about taking care of someone else when she needs to take care of herself, which is definitely something that's very essential. It's like complaining that I don't give him enough time or attention. And I was like, I understand that, but I'm trying like not to be a burden. Yeah. And I don't want to put all my problems on you because there's nothing he can do about it anyway. If you can't help, it doesn't involve you. If you didn't cause it, it doesn't involve you. So there's no need for me to tell you. And I get he wanted to like comfort me. I don't want to be touched and he's over here trying to hug me to comfort me. And I'm like, don't touch me, leave me alone, don't go. It's definitely frustrating when someone doesn't want to respect your boundaries or give you the space that you need. And in this case, her ex was just not respecting that she needed some time. I know like sometimes I'll like that someone can do is just be there for you emotionally and it's good that he's there for you emotionally but like you just need someone to respect your boundaries like when you say that like you need space you need space we talked yesterday we wish we broke up like, i don't want to hear anything about i miss you or you don't text me or you don't call me none of that i definitely think that lucy made the best decision for herself she's the only one who can make that call just the best thing that you need for yourself is just like that space like, especially if you're having a lot of like turmoil you just need to figure yourself out i was like it's not that i want to break up it's that i need to fix these problems 
in order to get to give you attention and then i can't be worried about fixing my problems and then worried about that you're gonna cheat on me again because you don't have my attention there's definitely been issues with this guy of unfaithfulness and talking to other girls so i think that it's healthy that lucy puts herself in a spot that means less stress and less worry she doesn't need to worry about whether or not her boyfriend's going to be faithful to her oh like talking to all these girls online yeah like he says he's not doing that but i know how guys are and i know how people are if i don't give him attention he's gonna start talking to other people again and he can't tell me that's not how it is mm -mm. when he's like betrayed you before in the past yeah i hope that lucy makes the best decisions for herself so that way she can get herself out of these situations as her best friend i hate to see her going through a lot of turmoil but some problems you just have to work out yourself there's nothing else that others can do for you I brought it up to Hannah and then I also brought it up to my mom and my dad about like now doing the reality thing and they're pretty cool with it. Dad sort of forgot about it because I was setting up like the lighting equipment yesterday and he was like, oh, what's that for? Are you doing a photo shoot? And I was like, um, documenting? And he just seemed like, kind of, like we had the conversation before mm -hmm. about it and I don't know, but he was also drunk because then he started sitting there talking to me about the cameras. I was like, dude, you're supposed to act like the camera's not there. So I was just like, what camera? I don't know what you're talking about. The cameras aren't there, okay? We just need, now we're gonna have to go to Bo's with it. Mm -hmm. And just so that they can get used to it. That's what, that's what my struggle right now is. It's like getting over the anxiety of starting it, but then also like getting everyone used to it. Yeah. Cause I know my nephews are gonna be like, hi camera, hi camera. Be like no 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 don't don't talk to the camera <laughs> i don't know what i want to name the show having hit full throttle on a whim i definitely don't have everything ready such as what i'm going to even call this show i wasn't thinking about what am i going to call it i think starting it is what's putting me on the right direction to be able to figure out what that is like what can you imagine the show being called we're both ultimately clueless as to what we should name this I'm not sure. I'm bad at naming things. Yeah. That's why when I name my pets, I just point to a random area on the map. I definitely want it to be something that suits me, but I also want it to be different. I want it to be real. I don't want it to be cliche. I've played with some options and a lot of them just don't ring the bell, but there's certainly one that I have my mind on. I thought of I like, name it what I land on. even though I don't use the word fabulous, I was thinking of fabulously Philip and spelling fabulous with a PH instead of an F. You know, like when people say that ass is fat, they spell it with a PH. So why not do that with fabulously? Fabulously Philip, so it looks like that. Or the reality of Philip Omar. I like the first one. Fabulously Philip. It's all cold and I have an ice drink and then I'm wearing short shorts. I've been telling myself though I can't look at the footage because I don't want to feel inclined to like delete footage just because I don't like the way I look or something. Mm -hmm. It's definitely a project for myself because it's really easy for me to look at footage or look at photos and delete it. But I have to tell myself that if this is really going to be my reality, I can't go around just censoring petty little things that I don't like about the footage. But so you want it to be like raw? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the barista gives me like discounts. Damn. That's what sucks though when the baristas leave is because then the new ones don't know me. But the old ones also would give me free drinks. I'm not trying to argue with people right now. Who's arguing with you? Milton. Oh, the roommate? Yeah. So not only is Lucy having drama with her relationship, but she's also having drama with roommates. I'm giving Mary back her room since she started working. So I told him to move into my room since he doesn't want to stay in the living room. That's the thing, like he, he doesn't get to bargain like that when he hasn't put anything in Mary has. So he's complaining, I don't want to put it, I don't want to sleep on the couch. At least the you have a place isn't. to stay. It's definitely easy to offer solutions from the outside because I'm not dealing with the situation, but I know that it's an uphill battle for Lucy. So I just want to be there to support her and try and help in any way that I can. Do you have a picture of him? But he listens more when I talk to him in person. I have to talk to Patty. Patty is the girl that he's 
supposedly I'm not dating. The girl that was mom. So through this boy that Lucy is talking about, there was an incident where he was talking to this crazy girl and when she got evicted, she brought her mom and the mom fought one of Lucy's roommates thinking that it was Lucy. I think she should be in jail for what she did. No, the girl whose mom hates him and told her to stay away from him and she doesn't listen to that girl. But now we have another person. This guy just keeps bringing people in and out of their household. I want Lucy to be able to put an end to it. The other girl, her and her mom both apologized. Mary was just like, whatever, just leave us alone. And I was like- She has the audacity to go in, trespass, uh, beat her up, and then be like, oh, I'm sorry. There's a lot of people in this world who just want a free ride and take advantage of people. I definitely don't like the sound of this person and I don't want to meet them. This situation will continue to get worse and worse if nothing's done about it. I really hope that Lucy can get herself out of this predicament and fast. This son is a fucking bitch right now. I know. He needs to be out already. Mm -hmm. So this here. Are you sh really sure you want to see the details in here? It's I know. <laughs> So I'm showing dad how all the lighting works so that way he's not surprised when they happen to be up. Whatever, you gotta start somewhere. Something that I've always struggled with is insecurity in some way. For some reason, I always envisioned that if I was gonna do something like this, I must live in the most glamorous place ever. And I have to be real with myself and tell myself that's not the case. I don't want to be insecure anymore. Like, that's why I've never started this because, like, I've always been insecure. Like, I can't just wait for the perfect life to s just do what I've always wanted to do. But ultimately, I don't want it to stop me from doing this. So look, this is the light. And it turns on. So it's just really good for, like, say if the camera person's right here, it brings in more natural light. Ambient. Yeah. Yeah, I just want to show you. I don't want it to be awkward. Um, so I just need normal shots of my life, so don't be awkward if there's a camera. How can you have, uh, normal shots of an abnormal life? My dad is certainly a silly man, but I'm so thankful that he's supported me this whole time. So my grandma sent some ornaments for Christmas. So my dad spilled the beans to grandma that I love the holidays. I love to decorate the tree, the house. I love taking pictures for postcards to send out to everyone. So my grandma was very thoughtful and sent me a whole package of all these holiday decorations that I'll be able to use in the future. So she ended up just sending all of these boxes. Dad just made the most inappropriate jokes about these. Dad! Tell her what you thought that these were. Cochran's? Yeah. No matter what the situation is, Dad's always going to find a way to make some sort of inappropriate joke. I was like, oh my god. I could see that. He kept saying, he's like, I'm going to give some to my friends. Grandma's like, here you virgin, have some for you and your virgin friends. I was so stressed setting up yesterday because like Dre wanted to get, he wanted to like sniff everything and I was already like, stressed out because you know the anxiety I get like you know me I'd like everything to be perfect and obviously that's not the case so I was like Dre get away like stop and then I felt bad after but you know he didn't care yeah. okay, love you for oh, fuck I almost burnt the pizza oh shit I forgot you oh my god hi hey how's it going so I'm talking to my mentor that I've sought advice from for the past year about what I'm doing now. I definitely appreciate this person because she always just offers me good advice and always listens and just knows how to say the right thing. It's good. How are you doing? Good. Uh, our trips are next week. I know. How excited are you? <laughs> I'm excited. I'm ready. I'm heading to New York and she's heading to Hawaii and I'm very excited. I usually vlog my trips. This time I've just decided I'm not gonna vlog, I'll take pictures and videos just for myself, but I'm not gonna do it for like the need of having content. Every time I go on a trip, I always feel the need to bring a little camera with me because I think I wanna create this little vlogging video about it and post it. I just wanna make this about me and enjoy it and not worry about what looks good on camera and what doesn't. It'll be just for you, not for, you know, 
what's going to look good. Yeah, like I've always wanted to have like a more reality style on my channel, not just sit in front of a camera and talk. I've never wanted to be like a YouTuber more of just like using the platform. I've never been too fond of the YouTuber lifestyle. I just never felt like I fit in with that or that that's really my thing. But I definitely treasure YouTube for being a platform that all kinds of creators can come on and just share their content with the world. I have the lighting equipment around my house like I was setting up yesterday. That's awesome. So is it just you going around your house doing your day-to-day -day things or what? Yeah, um, also like when I go out and about, it just all comes naturally versus like vlogs you have to like plan out what you're gonna do i don't like to f like force myself to have content i don't feel like it's authentic for me at least even if it's entertaining to other people i'm just not proud of it i feel like this is more of my niche and lately i've just felt like i've just been on hold like my creative drive is just like it's just stagnant i always feel like a boost of energy when i have something creative to look forward to that feeling of being stagnant and just not knowing what's next really sucks. So I'm really glad that I've decided to start this journey. This just got me excited again. It, it gave me like purpose. It makes me feel like I'm doing something for myself again. And that feeling is like so powerful to me because it's when I feel like that. My productivity is like strong. I feel like I'm fighting for something. I'm living for something. So I definitely feel at my highest power when I have some sort of creative project to work on because I feel like I'm expressing myself and I'm doing something that is really meaningful to me. I don't know. I guess I've also grown. It shows growth if I push, push myself like I realize I am good enough that I am interesting enough, that I am worth it. I don't have to feel like I have to have an accomplice. I've certainly had my trial and error over the years of collaborating with others. I've created YouTube pages with friends and I've certainly enjoyed those experiences, but they also taught me valuable lessons about myself. You can take center stage, you can take up space in the room. Getting out there and doing it and you're recognizing that you are interesting enough to be the star of the show. It's okay to take center stage. It's okay to put myself out there as me and not something else. It's definitely been fun starting this process and I am so blessed that I have so many people who want to support me and are pushing me to just go and do it. All it takes is the bird to fly from the nest and venture off. I'm proud of myself for doing this. It's fun, I love it. I feel like I get to keep record of myself and I also get to keep learning more about myself and make incredible memories with friends and family. I am truly blessed. Next time on Fabulously Philip. I'm wanting to see how my brother and his family reacts to the cameras. I'm the family's going crazy. I'm All hell breaks loose. You're a fucking liar. Cheers to the crazy times. I'm gonna do what's worth it. What's worth it to me. And I'm gonna have my, my doubts. I'm going to have times where I feel like I'm not doing anything or that I'm not gonna get anywhere, but I'm just gonna keep trying. It's the people who keep trying that make it. You define what your life is going to be. And I just, I need to keep reminding myself that so that I don't get, ever give up. Because what's meant to be is meant to be.